Guys, man, today's video is gonna, <laughs> it's gonna require some apologies on my part. You're gonna hate me, all right? So to join me for this difficult video, I have our friend One-Eyed Bandit here. And I'm glad to be back on the channel. Really appreciate you having me on again. It's always a great time. And today, him and I have made a list of top five characters we don't think are gonna make it into Dragon Ball Fighters 2. And of course, you're invited in the comments down below to tell us your own list of characters you don't think are gonna make it into Dragon Ball Fighters 2. And be sure to check out the pinned comment down below where we did the same thing on his channel, but with other characters. First one on my list here is Gotenks. Mm. I think they're gonna cut him just to replace him with the more modern version of Gotenks we're gonna be seeing in the new film. This one shocked me, I'm not gonna lie. I guess it's because we've been so used to Gotenks. I even forgot for a split second that we are getting a new version of Gotenks. Teen Gotenks is finally coming, and that's amazing. That That's a really good slot for that. And the funny part about it is I can even see it, like even if we're not going into Fighters 2, when they keep dropping DLC for Fighters 1, I can easily see that being something too. So yeah. my first one on the list on your channel is actually gonna be Captain Ginyu. Wow, another overlap. Oh, I'm gonna cry, it's all my favorite characters. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, man. And you know, I struggled with Ginyu because because I think Dragon Ball Fighters is about Dragon Ball Z and you have a lot of good characters from very good moments in the show added into the game. For me, they've always talked about how GT wasn't even really supposed to be in this game. GT characters were more popular than they thought they would be. So to me, I think Fighters 2 would be more about super as well as GT rather than what Fighters is, which is Super and Z. I think a big part of it as well is the fact that, like, Fighters has its own unique story, right? So we're not going through the Frieza saga, running, you know, around Namek, trying to find Dragon Balls, having to fight the Ginyu Force, so on and so mm -hmm. forth. So some of these kind of otherwise weaker characters from the story don't really need to be there in future iterations of Dragon Ball Fighters if we're not running through that main storyline. Ginyu being out the game would eliminate people from playing like certain characters early like we always do next one on my list i don't think it's really gonna surprise many people but it's definitely gonna upset some people and that's janemba while he's one of my favorite movie characters just because the character is so dope like the entire film is really sick there's so many other movie characters that they can slot in for him and seeing as he's not one of the you know most played characters i feel like they'd be a little comfortable bringing him in later as a dlc character if they really wanted him to return if the fans really demanded it, but base roster Dragon Ball Fighters 2, I think he gets the beat. Yeah, and uh, he's on my list too. So <laughs> we actually do have a little bit more overlap than we thought, but I, I totally understand your reasoning. I lean towards him being one of my more favorite movie villains, but when you dumb it down, he's just taller Kid Boo. <laughs> <laughs> so who's next up on your list? Next up, I actually have another twofer, which is Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan Vegeta. Wow. You now wait a minute. <laughs> I understand. Listen, man, I gotta always, you know, you I gotta, gotta defend justify, myself. Yeah. I get Super Saiyan Goku, Super Saiyan Vegeta, they're like the Ryu and Ken of Dragon Ball. They are the Scorpion and Sub-Zero of Dragon Ball. But the thing about Goku and Vegeta is they're going to be Goku and Vegeta no matter what form you put for them. And I say this because like I said earlier, I think for Fighters 2, they would move towards a more Super GT style. So I think Blue Goku and Blue Vegeta may move up into that Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan Vegeta slot. And then, you know, we got the Super Saiyan Blues as like free DLC when you bought the game early type thing. I think Super Saiyan God can move into that slot. You know, obviously we get maybe Super Saiyan 4, Vegeta and Goku's DLC. I have no idea, but that is my idea. That's how I'm doing it. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. That, that one caught me by surprise. That was definitely a bit of a shock. <laughs> I, I don't think, look, my list, I feel like compared to yours, is a lot more boring. It's not <laughs> as like, <laughs> it's not as, as out there, but Android 17 is the next one I got on my chopping block. People just don't play them all that much. And I feel like the developers of Dragon Ball Fighter, they're going to really look at the player base in order to find out who gets played most often, keep those characters. 
who, who gets played the least chop those guys out right trim the fat and get rid of the people that aren't going to upset a large amount of the fan base that's how i feel like they're going to kind of handle it and as a result 17 on the chopping block i'm actually a little shocked because you know with the recent you know like french versus usa thing um 17 is actually one of those characters that more people are starting to play because of yasha the pro player um you know along with his fusion team but i think overall the popularity of the character from dragon ball super boosted him a little bit so i'm i'm actually yeah kind of shocked about this one i i feel like 17 would possibly stay <laughs> all right all right so 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 who's next on your list let's hear it my last one i guess technically because we've stolen everything from each other <laughs> is videl yeah she's on my yeah. list as well <laughs> yeah man videl is out of here bro like as much as people liked this character, I think she was one of the shockers that came um, when it came to DLC. I think Videl was a placement holder for UI Goku because Jiren and Videl don't make sense. Jiren and UI do. I feel like when they did the dodge mechanic for Videl, it was supposed to be like data for UI Goku. The minute she came out and they hated the dodge mechanic, you know, they had to take a step back before actually putting UI Goku in the game. And when he finally came, you know the rest is history but Videl overall not that good of a character not popular enough for people to want to keep for base roster of fighters too let's be honest man I can't argue that point since he was on my list as well for all the same reasons for the most part so for the last one on my list I'm actually gonna leave it up to you guys in the comments down below which one of these two characters would you rather have cut and I'm gonna explain both of them here we got Yamcha and Super Baby 2 now with He's Super Baby man. 2 <laughs> with Super Baby <laughs> 2 the way I see this happening is they're not gonna just get rid of Super Baby 2 and not replace him with someone else so we're gonna take Super Baby 2 and we're gonna swap him out with Omega Shenron. That's how I see that working out. Yamcha, I'd hate to say it, but he, he you know, just like Yamcha do, he gets chopped off <laughs> the list. That's, that and, is uh, insane. You know, he's, he's just out of here. <laughs> now, I'll be, I'll give my two cents real quick. Again, in my video, I stated that I believe none of the Z fighters are going anywhere. I think they are the main, you know, guys of Dragon Ball, and I just feel like they would keep them all. As for Super Baby 2, he didn't show up on my radar simply because, again, I, I truly believe that they could go in that direction of Super and GT as the main kind of theme for Dragon Ball Fighters 2 and I think we could get keep baby 2 and get Omega these characters on the list that we have now they're not they're not it man they're not so it so let me go ahead and ask you this real quick because you said that you think Dragon Ball Fighters 2 is going to be more GT and super related where does Yamcha fit into that because the man didn't even get invited to the tournament of power this is it, it does <laughs> I understand I get where you're coming at, <laughs> but I just can't see them not doing yacht. <laughs> <laughs> He's too much of a meme, you know, for, yeah, for them to dude. not include him at this point. Huh? I, like, even though you're right, I don't necessarily think they get rid of certain characters because the nostalgia is there too much. Well, if that's the case, I think we're going to be seeing all, if not most, of these characters return in Dragon Ball Fighters 2. I'll be especially happy if that's true because I need my boy Nappa. But, dudes, that's going to pretty much wrap up today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and feel free to leave your own list of characters you think are going to get cut from Dragon Ball Fighters 1. I, I was going to say any last words. You got, got anything you want to say before we head out? Thank you again for having me on the channel, man. It's really always a great time. And y'all, please subscribe to Answer Coin. He just hit 6,000 subscribers. Oh, <laughs> Throw up the confetti. Shout out this man. And, you know, it is what it is. But Thanks. that's all I got.